and the pictures you show it at two homes going up in flames overnight. Right now, fire crews are still on the scene. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen has been following this story all morning long with photojournalist Gary Pakula over there. And Alexandra, you spoke with the homeowners just a bit ago. That's just heartbreaking. It really is heartbreaking. She says everything she owned and her father's belongings were inside the storage unit and that mobile home. And as you can see here behind me, this has changed. There's now crime tape up here at the scene. We were just speaking with the detective that you saw passing by me. He said the fire marshal will be coming out here to investigate. Wilson County firefighters tell me they had trouble with the fire hydrants water pressure when they arrived here around 315 this morning. They've been hauling in water for hours to fight the flames. The homeowner tells me her boyfriend picked her up from a friend's house and when they pulled up to the mobile home, it was on fire. Officials tell me the fire started in the trailer where they were living and spread next door to a storage unit. Again, no one was home when it started to their knowledge. According to Amber Fry, her dad recently passed away. She, she was storing his belongings in there. She says she's fallen on hard times and three weeks ago, her home was broken into. She's worried that the fire is suspicious but police here at the scene tell me they have no evidence to support that at this time. Fry says everything she owned and more was inside her two trailers. Oh, I just lost my father and stuff and now I've lost all of his possessions too. Yeah, my time's off. I went, woohoo, this didn't help. The Red Cross is here assisting her during this difficult time. And as you can see, this area of this road remains closed. Reporting live in Lebanon, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.